Welcome to the Zen Brain Podcast, where we explore alternatives to psychiatric medication and strategies for conscious lifestyle change. Here's your host and philosophical entertainer, Michael Pierce. Michael Pierce. There is a large physical component to getting high. In fact, many of us only know that we are high when we feel physically different. It is as if our sensory functions need to be altered in order to confirm that we are experiencing a real change. While it is true that changes in mind and spirit can externally repercussions the physical body when manipulated willfully can also alter the experiences of the consciousness it houses getting high is a two-way street there are many physical therapists which act on the mind through the body the neural pathways connected muscles and skin to the brain provide a therapist access to your consciousness Thus, a good massage can put your brain into alpha or delta state. A qualified doctor of acupuncture can alter the flow of life energy, chi, in your body, thus changing your experience of life itself. Similarly, you can alter your perception of reality by altering your body's sensation. In addition, your perception of reality by altering your body's sensation to the therapeutic spas, hot springs, and saunas, and even home hot or cold springs that serve to give you a break and block and open neural pathways that provide new accesses to experiences. In this chapter, we'll believe the theory of practice of a few of the physical therapies that alter consciousness, then described a few things you can do for yourself. Acupuncture and acupressure are two of the main branches of oriental medicine. Just as many of the greatest mind-altering substances came out of western pharmacological research, the several thousand years of history of oriental medicine works by regulating chi in the body. Unlike allopathy, which battles enemy diseases to restore health. Eastern doctors see illness as an imbalance of energy. The systems of acupuncture and acupressure restore the chi to its proper leveling circulation. Not being high can be seen as an imbalance. Either your energy level is high but misdirected and blocked or your energy is just not enough enough in the first place. Both of these conditions can be alleviated through the practice of oriental medicine to locate blocks. The practitioner takes something similar to pulses from the main meridian lines of the body. When meridian is associated with the liver, another with the heart, and so on, if a pulse feels a certain way, it means the meridian is blocked somewhere. To eliminate the blockages of flow of chi, the doctor stimulates the meridian at a difficult point with the needle or finger, sending energy to the point of blockage until it is cleared. If there is simply not enough energy on a particular meridian, the doctor may perform something called moxibustion, in which a herbal moxie stick is burned directly over an acupuncture point. The kind of heat that moxie stick generates heats up and energizes the weak meridian. To get high from the acupuncture or acupressure requires that you do not be sick when you visit the practitioner. You must go when you're already feeling pretty good. When the doctor asks you why you have come, tell him you want more energy or you want to learn to relax better depending upon your current state. 
you could also simply explain that you're visiting him for the general well-being and a balance of your chi energies. The doctor will take pulses from different points on your wrist, uh, de determining the energy flow in each of your meridians, and then bring you to a treatment room. You'll lie on the table, and the doctor will either use needles or finger pressure to stimulate certain points along the meridians that need balancing. Getting high off this can be felt as a subtle change or as an obvious one, depending on how aggressively the therapist chooses to work. In any case, ask what is being done to you so that you can try to visualize the effects. If you are told that a certain acupuncture point in your foot relates to your liver, for example, try to imagine the meridian along which the chi is supposed to be traveling. The high of acupuncture and acupressure is a result of the rebalancing of the chi in your body. While intensely relaxing, the experience is also mind-altering. You feel as though your whole body were being adjusted to one frequency. Instead of having many disconnected parts all doing their own thing, your mind and your spirit become relaxed and united. This state of being is much more energetic than it seems. As one learns in the Qi-related martial arts, the best defense is to stay completely receptive. Similarly, the state of high potential energy is a very relaxed one. When the session is over, do not run out, eat a big lunch, and get a coffee in traffic. Don't smoke a cigarette or drink a cup of coffee. Just relax. Maybe walk around outside and look at nature. You'll find you see the world differently. You may even feel disoriented. The potential differences between different parts of your organism has been evened out. Places your energy has been unnecessarily held are now open. Most importantly, the connection between your brain and your energy fields has been redefined. You are now free to experience life free of many barriers you were holding on to unconsciously. You may feel more relaxed but you are actually much more alive. Now, massage is another great way to alter your state of consciousness. You've already experienced a good massage at some point in your life. If you have not, you're missing something extraordinary. In finding a massage therapist, look for someone with some new age or healing experience. We would be the last ones to advocate new age marketing blitz, but this is unusually the best to find people who do body work related to consciousness expansion. If possible, Meet your prospective masseuse or massage therapist ahead of time. Use your intuition. And if you like the person, great. If the feeling of the funny about him or not, then, uh, well, you don't have to use them. A massage is a wonderful way of telling yourself you desperately need pleasure. Most of us feel so unworthy that we deny ourselves pleasure for pleasure's sake. We have sex because we are in a relationship. We go to the therapist because... It's healthy. We get a massage because it feels great. We worry about nothing and accept the gift of another human being's hands. We pay for it, we treat ourselves, and a massage is time for you to relax and someone else to work. Realize this is half of the high. Depending on you and the particular massage you get, you can move into any number of states of consciousness, even alpha and delta states. We have friends who have gone out of body during massages. Do not worry about what you're experiencing, just relax. Many people are afraid of getting sexually aroused during a massage. Give it to whatever feels arises and it will probably pass. Suppressing it will only make it worse. 
Worst case, the masseuse or the massage therapist sees you have an erection and hears your moan. Big deal. They've seen it all before. You may want to laugh, cry, or scream. Cut loose. But you'll be told if you do something wrong. The beginning of a massage is the only difficult part. You'll feel the spots where you're holding both physical and emotional tension. But once you begin to let go, everything will let go. Your only job is to lie there and relax. Usually what happens after the initial letting go phase is the sleep but deeper. You begin to worry that you are no longer conscious of what the masseuse or massage therapist is doing and that you are thus not getting your money's worth. This is ridiculous and will soon pass. Let the practitioner worry about your body and let your mind flow free. Massage gets you high because your body is in someone else's hands. You are being cared for. You are safe. After a massage, follow the same rules. As for the acupuncture, the state of consciousness is different. You will probably feel more loving and huggy and want to be around people rather than alone in nature. Try taking a warm shower or whirlpool or just take a nice nap. 